I'm really passionate about women's health. I think that women's health, and particularly the vagina and the reproductive tract, are neglected. I think we need to pay them some more attention. <laughs> and so, you know, I think people feel uncomfortable about, you know, honest conversations about sex and about reproductive health, particularly for women. And therefore, we don't know as much. And I think we need to change that and we need to change the conversations and our comfort levels around talking about our vaginas and our cervix and our own health. I think it's critically important that we start having open and frank conversations with men and women that we bleed every month. We have pain every month. Some women have very serious pain every month. We go through a normal biological process where our body changes throughout that month. And that's all normal and we quietly hide it. Why? I just think it's a symptom of a patriarchal society that all of a sudden, you know, menstrual blood is icky and that, you know, we don't talk about periods and we don't admit that we're having a bad day because we've got period pain, but it's quite fine to say we're having a bad day because we have a headache. You know, I think it's, um, I think it's really important. And I think by keeping it sort of a secret thing that we can't talk about, we're giving some kind of message to our young women that that's kind of wrong but it's not wrong, it's biology, half the population goes through it. I think it's really important that we change the conversation and we're enabling a better attitude to our health, but I think we're also enabling a better attitude to women as functional, important members of society who just have different biology. If we think as a society we can achieve equality by fixing the women and making them more like men and fit in the patriarchal constructs that we've made, we're not gonna benefit from that. 